So do you want to spill that into like another bit, a bit of a conversation too? Because there are uh, positional needs that we all sit up here and argue for the draft coming up with those two picks in the first round. Yes, yes, we do. If I'm ranking them, I'm going interior defensive line, cornerback. Actually, cornerback, and then interior defensive line. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah I probably cornerback switch, number one. Switch my, yeah, cornerback number one need for me too. Um, from there, I guess yeah, you could point to the guard, but I'd even get, go back to interior defensive line. Mm. Brett, yeah. I, I would be. I should go back to the secondary. 120% positive that Brad Holmes could find a Pro Bowl guard in past the fifth round. Yeah. Or just sign a veteran free agency, you know what I mean? Get one, like, just get one through but the I'm season. But I'm that too because you get, you get a discount guard. Again, that, yeah, that, get a discount that guard. That position rotated constantly all year. But that's what it is. Like, we, don't, we don't need like a vet fill-in guy because yeah. you have a couple on yeah, the roster now. Especially within the first four picks, bro. I'm not – all due respect to all the fellow heavies. I get it. Yeah. You know, you know, former ugly. offensive guard myself. But, like, I'm not wasting a, a top four pick on a guard that we had freaking – I don't even know how to pronounce his name. We had that wild-ass name. He did really well filling in. Oh man, Stenberg? I, no, 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 no. It's it was the. Uh, God damn, you're gonna make me look it up. We look up the. You know what I'm talking about? Jamie, what, pull it up. Gonna, ex- explain more what you were saying. I didn't really. The Lions it offensive guard. The all right. Oh yeah, with the wild name. Musa Moa or something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. Like that. He played well. Stenberg played well. Skipper filled in at guard. Yeah, and Skipper played well. Especially in the beginning. Yeah, 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 Skipper scoop, was scoop, balling. Scoop. I used to call him big for nothing. Yeah, he did. I called him that on multiple now occasions. Now you saw him big in motion, dude. Yeah. He was scary in motion. He's like, a big dude, man. They line him up, and then they line him up at like tight end, and just send him. Yeah, yeah, think of think of running to that side of the line where you have Frank Ragnow, Dan Skipper, Penny Sewell, mm-hmm. and Jamal Williams behind. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you don't that's want a, that. That's a train. Pause. Yeah, I was just <laughs> getting getting trained by Penny Sewell, Frank by Ragnow. Those big dudes. And the good thing too about him, like if the Detroit Lions do resign, which I'm. I, I'm Guaranteeing they do. I mean, we're the ones that gave him his big break, right? We had him crying in the locker room like a baby. Yeah. Big ball, big ass ball Relax, baby. Hey, dude. Take it easy. Oh, yeah. It's a guy's life, man. No, yeah. I'm happy for him. Oh, my, you hear those racist accusations? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. But he, he's coming back, and but, he, but he has, he's a dual threat, if you will, because he played tackle and he converted to a guard for us. You know what I'm yes, saying? Yes. I would never put Dan Skipper and dual threat in the same sentence. That's fair.